This brand you want to pay really close attention to because while it is lower on our list in profits, it is the best as far as the stats go with everything else. Take a look. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, like you saw in the title, we are going to be going over my top 10 brands on Poshmark in 2021. This is going to be such a valuable video for you because not only am I going to be going over what those top 10 brands are, but I'm also going to be going over what is the gross sales profit that I've received from these brands, how many sales did that mean, how much was the average sales price, and then lastly, we'll be talking about how many days does it take to sell. So you are definitely going to want to stay all the way through. I'm going to start with my most profitable brands, but there's some caveats within this that you are really going to find this information valuable. So if that is something interesting to you, then hit that like button and let's get into it. I'm going to be collaborating with a few other resellers who do have YouTube channels. They are also going to be talking about their top 10 brands. I don't know if everyone's going to be doing it on Poshmark, but whatever selling platforms they decided to choose, they are going to be talking about their top 10. This is going to be such a great thing. If you are someone that does not live in Oregon like I do, you might not be able to find some of the brands that I commonly pick up, but you might find some other resellers that might be in your same state or might be some of the same brands that you love to sell. So check out the description below. I'm going to have all the links to their videos down there and I'm so excited to watch their videos just as much as I hope you are going to get to enjoy them too. Okay, now let's get into it. So obviously we're going to be talking about the most profitable brands in 2021. So we are only talking about from January 1st to yesterday, to be honest. And our number one brand that has sold the most so far in 2021, you guys are probably not going to be surprised about it. It is Nike. Nike is a brand that I can tend to pick up pretty well. It is also one that I tend to find a lot of unique pieces on. I'm also well educated in Nike. I can definitely spot out some of the things that are collaborations compared to some of the other pieces. I'm not finding just like basic running shorts and a tank top. So I do feel like that attributes to it a lot. Also, since I'm going to Portland pretty regularly and I can find it at the outlet, it tends to be a lot of our really good bread and butter pieces. So our stats for Nike is we grow $1,146. We in profit made $909.40, so that's after the Poshmark fees. That doesn't include what the cost of goods was, but I did have 54 sales during that time. I mean, depending on if I was selling a lot of shoes, honestly, I would probably say our cost of goods was maybe underneath $3. So you can kind of gauge that from the actual profit that we received. On average with Nike, it takes about 78 days to sell. What I was looking for when I was taking a look at these top 10 brands was does it on average take about 90 days to sell? I was thinking about a one quarter. If I can bring something into my house and it's only gonna take the first quarter or like 90 days for it to sell, then that was a pretty good flip for me personally. So with 54 sales and the gross profits that we received, our average sales price when it comes to Nike is $21.22. Our second top brand for 2021 is Columbia. I'm not sure if this is going to be a surprise for you guys either. You've probably seen in many of our hauls, we do pick up a lot of their windbreakers. We pick up a lot of their, uh, let's think, pants, shirts, shoes, a lot of things. And to be honest, I actually think Columbia, its headquarters is in Seattle, Washington which again, it would be absolutely no surprise if there's a huge plethora on the Pacific Northwest with this brand. So with Columbia so far in 2021, our gross sales was $799. Not bad, not bad. Our profit then was $637.60. With that time frame from January to May, we have had 31 sales from this brand. It takes normally about 87 days to sell. So again, it's under that 90 day threshold, which I'm so down for. And our average sales price was $25.77. I attribute this to the fact that we pick up a lot of jackets when it comes to Columbia. And I know that the ROI on that one is definitely a lot higher versus if we're looking at Nike, we're getting the tanks, we're getting the shorts, we're getting the jackets, like various different things. So the price ranges a lot through Nike. So even though we make more profit with Nike, we actually have a higher sales price 
with Columbia. That's why this is so incredibly important to look at your guys' numbers specifically. You can look at your like top selling brand and go, hey, this brand is great. But do you actually have an average sales price that you might wanna consider from a different brand and invest a little bit more money in that brand? To be honest, this was a good checkup from the neck up for me because I was like, whoa, there are some brands that we actually do really well with that I should probably devote more attention to. Our third brand was Adidas. We grossed $607 with Adidas over the last five months. We've profited $482.25. We have had 27 sales in the last few months. Our average days to sell is 95 days. So that's a little bit over the threshold I want. And our average sales price is $22.48. Personally, for me, I could do better with this brand. I don't know a whole lot about this brand. Nike's always been my tried and true from like high school on. And so I feel like I could be given a little bit more education with this brand and probably be able to be more selective with the items that I do pick up. I am still happy with this brand though. It is one that is a really great bread and butter for us. And it's one that I can commonly find at our thrift stores. Our fourth brand is Free People. We have a gross of $498 with Free People over the last few months. We have profited $398.40, 18 sales within the last few months, which means our average sales price was $27.67. Normally it takes about 92 days for Free People to sell, which honestly, not mad at when the average sales price is like $27.67. I do feel like personally last year we had quite a few opportunities where we were able to get free people items new with tagged. So I feel like some of those pieces that I was able to get, I was able to have a higher sales price just because they were new with tagged. So will this still kind of keep a tempo in 2021? I'm not sure. It's going to depend on what types of pieces I'm able to pick up with free people. And to be honest, I'm not finding it nearly as much as I was in the thrift stores anymore. Or when I do see it, it's too high of a price point and it's just not worth it for me to pick up. But I'm, I'm pretty interested. I'm going to keep an eye out on this one. But so far, so good with the average sales price. And if I actually find more wholesale box opportunities when it comes to free people, I might actually pick it up. Even though I don't know about you, how long you've been a part of reselling, if you're pretty new to reselling, but about this time last year, there was a lot of talk about free people flooding the market and there not being a good price point when it came to free people anymore. To be honest, when I'm looking at that as an average sales price, I think that free people is still doing a great job of being a good seller. And I think you'd be able to keep going with this brand. Number five on our list is American Eagle, which again, if you've seen a lot of my hauls, probably should come as no surprise to you. We have grossed $333 with American Eagle over the last few months. We've profited $264.35. We've had 18 sales over the last few months and it takes normally about 74 days to sell. So still underneath that 90 day threshold, definitely here for it. Our average sales price is actually much lower. It's $18.72. However, I know that when it comes to shirts, sweaters, I tend to, with American Eagle, pick up the more trendy pieces. Also, American Eagle doesn't really resell for a whole lot at the moment when it comes to their shirts and things like that. And trust me, I'm actually picking up like only a couple of years old when it comes to this brand specifically. However, if you've heard with some of my hauls recently, I have been picking up a ton of their jeans. Their jeans, I think, are the reason why the average sales price is starting to go up. And I also think it's taking less time for it to sell. Honestly, if we removed the shirt category, I feel like the value of this brand, average sales price would probably be closer to like $20, maybe even $22. And we'd probably see more of like a 30 to 40 day turnaround when it came to this brand. So this is one of those brands that if you can pick it up, do, but make sure you're paying close attention to which categories you are purchasing with this brand. Okay, this is where it gets real fun. Number six is Madewell. I love this brand. I wish I could find it more. I, yeah, I wish I could find it more. I actually don't get to see it as much as I would like. Madewell has grossed us $313. We have profited $249.85. We've had 12 sales with them over the last few months, which average sales price equates to $26.08. And actually, 
This is beautiful. It takes normally 30 days for this brand to sell. So, so far, if you've been listening to all the brands and how long it takes for it to normally sell, this is the lowest one. This is the quickest flips that we've had so far with this brand. And granted, just like I told you, it's number six in profit. But that's because just like I said a second ago, I don't find this brand that often. However, I'm gonna keep a lookout for it a lot more frequently if this is the types of stuff it's providing me with. Great stats, super great stats. This brand you wanna pay really close attention to because while it is lower on our list in profits, it is the best as far as the stats go with everything else, Lululemon. We are grossing $288, profit $230, but here's the deal. We have had only 10 sales with this brand over the last few months. It normally takes only 22 days to sell. That is amazing, even better than the Madewell. And the biggest caveat with this brand is our average sales price is $28.80. So like I just said, even though it is lower on the profit scale, it has a higher average sales price Again, it's just one of those brands that I do not find pretty regularly in my area. I am starting to do a few new things as I'm taking trips out to Portland and a few other places. So I will probably see Lululemon be a much higher brand moving forward. Number eight is the North Face. With North Face, we have grossed $239. We have profited $191.20. It normally takes 106 days for it to sell. We've had 10 sales over the last five months and our average sales price with this brand is $23.90. So honestly, with this one, I was kind of surprised. I felt like it was a little lower than what I was expecting. But the more that my husband and I got to talk about it, we realized typically with the North Face brand, we're finding a lot of like their fleeces, a lot more of their coats, which not to say winter stuff can't sell in spring and summer because that does commonly happen, but it does tend to be a very seasonal brand for us. So we see a lot more North Face selling during the fall winter time than we do the first half of the year. Plus, I don't find a lot of pants. I don't find a lot of shirts when it comes to North Face. And if I do, they're selling for a lower sales price compared to those other categories. So I don't think that it's a bad brand. I personally just think I don't have a lot of access to it. So if it's a brand that's close to you in your area and the price is right, definitely pick it up. Number nine is like one of my favorites. If you know me, you know. It is Eileen Fisher. This one has grossed us $203. We have profited $162.40. It normally takes us 114 days to sell, but we've only had seven sales in the last five months and our average sales price is $29. So even though this goes a little bit over that 90 day threshold with me, I'm not mad at it. And honestly, I think I just know the value of this brand. So anytime someone tries to lowball me, I definitely counter because I know I can get the good price if I just wait a little bit longer. So I'm willing to hold on to this brand. I know the quality, I love it, and I love to be able to sell it at a good rate, of course. You may love Eileen Fisher, you may not. Honestly, I feel like it's a brand that you're gonna have to test out for yourself because I've heard some people say that they cannot sell it at all. Whereas others are like all day, every day, it is my cream of the crop. I love picking up that brand. So if you see Eileen Fisher in your store, definitely pick it up. The jeans, the pants, we've had sweaters, we've done cardigans, we've done some shirts. Shirts don't do nearly as, unless they're a larger size. So keep an eye out for this brand. The last brand of our top 10. Sorry, I didn't mean to see. <laughs> It is Banana Republic. To be honest, I was actually kind of surprised at this one. Banana Republic has grossed us $183. We've profited $146.25. We have had eight sales in the last five months, and it normally takes us about 88 days for this item to sell. Our average sales price is $22.48. To be honest, I am very okay with that because Banana Republic I will only pick it up at the outlet. For me, that is the only time that it's worth it, unless I'm like at a thrift store and it's a really amazing jacket, kind of similar to J. Crew in that regard. But I will always pick this one up at the outlet. So the fact that it's $22.88 as our average sales price is a no brainer. I probably pick up this brand for less than $2 anytime I pick it up. And I feel like it is still a good trendy brand, even though it is classified as a mall brand. And with Banana Republic, it's still under that 90 day threshold, which I am a-okay with. All right, guys, comment down below and let me know what are some of the top brands that you just always have to pick up. I would love to hear some of you guys' brands. And 
I am so excited to go check out everyone else's videos. So take a look down below, look at that description, find another video, spend the day just doing some brand research. I feel like this is gonna be a great opportunity for you. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye.